In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to truncate labels in Chart.js while keeping the full label value in the tooltip. And this question was asked here in this video where I covered on how to put rounded corners on a bar chart. And then if you scroll down here, you will see here the question from Surav. So a special thanks to Surav. And I'm sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. And this is the following. I have uh, I have some bar charts that have really long labels and they affect the size of the chart. I'm trying to truncate the labels that show up under the chart while keeping the label that shows up in the tooltip when hovering over a bar. For example, 9 September 2020 to 9 /7. All right. So basically what he wants to do here is he wants the tooltip to maintain original value while at the bottom you will see in the axis the value will show 9 sep just to have a truncated version all right that's very nice and that's a very good question because as you can see here we have the same issue as we start to add more and more data points in here it will become far too space consuming and it doesn't make sense anymore especially with the dates i know this you can see here already this is still decent but the moment you do double the amount or you have like one year uh, a data point of one year at that moment this is becoming a big problem all right so how can we cut this or truncate this so to do this we need to play around with this part here and i have here this sample sign from 9 september up to 20 september but we're not able to adjust it here what you adjust here will immediately affect at the bottom here as well at the axis so we cannot adjust this here even if you would do it like a function it's not possible here it would do a separate constant with a to make it a new array and then we put the array value here or the constant value in here while using here function not possible however there is another way to do it so how can we do this is basically we need to understand what this is here these are what we call ticks so let's start and look here in there in the documentation so if you go in the documentation we have here the data structure and the reason I'm going to data structure is because the labels are in the data structure here. In here, sadly enough, you will not find any kind of information that you can use. It doesn't even indicate here anything related to using a, a function. It just only shows that this is a array value of labels and anything else here below you cannot find at all. So this is very straight. You're not allowed to adjust this. All right. So what we can do is we need to figure out the axis here. And this is a very important one, and more specifically here in the Cartesian axis, because we're working with linear axis in our case, for bars and for line charts. And in here, we can play around with it. What we need to do is we need to work with the ticks. So let me check if I can find here specifically the ticks. There we are. Which are the values here. So basically, with the ticks, we're going to play around. So let's start and explore this immediately. So we have here the scale, so you make sure it's in the scales, and then we say here the x, for the x-axis, because we're pinpointing specifically the x-axis here. And what we need to do here is, for example, to understand what it is, it's called the ticks that we want to play with. If we do the ticks here, and if I would say here display, and I say false, if I save this and make sure there's a comma here, false, it should hide it, which is correct. So once we know that the ticks are hidden, it will mean one thing. We have the right location because we are able to modify anything here related to the ticks. All right. So I don't want to hide it. I want to show it, but I want to show it based on a condition, which is you need to truncate it. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to use a callback function here. So we say we're going to run through the, the ticks and in the ticks, we want to adjust something, which would be a truncation of the value. So what we're going to do is this. We say here callback. And then here in the callback, eventually we need to make a function, which is a nameless function, because we want to call it back under a certain condition. So we say here, this will be the value or basically the ticks itself. So this is automatic because if we will loop through it directly. So it loops through the values. And then here we want to return what? We will return the condition that we have. To do this, we use here return. And then we say here this. And the reason why is we're using this is because we're looping through a certain value automatically. So we say this value, 
what is this value is this dot get label for value all right and then in here we can use basically because this is the parameter we use put in here so we're going to return this but then this parameter here which is basically in short this here basically this value here and it loops through here consistently and then with this what you want to do here instead of showing we will return this we will show this but with the condition of truncation which is called substring in javascript once you did that we say here how many characters we start at the beginning which is zero so we don't remove anything from the starting point and let's say what we want if i uh if we just calculate the characters we want here let's say we want here we have this we can truncate we have one two three four five so basically one have a five values and the sixth value will be cut away everything beyond that all right so we say here comma six and once we did that we put in this here save this and then we refresh and there you are so now we have truncated the data and i realize that here for some reason this one is only uh including the t or the others are not but that's all right that's acceptable for now or with this you can play around and this is basically the way you can add up and truncate values in chart.js directly and sadly enough we cannot adjust this completely because it is here hard coded but there could be a specific condition where you can put it with if the first two letters are numbers or not numbers where you can break it down but i would not recommend to play too much with that or to go that deep because you will look through many data points here if you look through this multiple times of course it can be heavy after a while however this is quite straightforward way to do it Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.